PCU recently garnered national and international attention for a complex surgery that separated conjoined twins. Justin James is in the studio now with a doctor that led the team. My guest is Dr. David Wanning. He was the lead surgeon in an operation that separated 19-month-old twin girls, Teresa and Maria Tapia. He's here to talk to us a little bit about the surgery and what this means for VCU. Dr. Wanning, welcome to VCU Insight. Thank you. So I understand that the surgery took 20 hours and it was really, really risky um, given the high mortality rate. How did the hospital get a chance to perform it? <clears throat> We were first informed about the girls who were from the Dominican Republic through World Pediatric Project, which is a nonprofit organization here in town that's committed to providing uh, complex surgical care uh, to children in need in a variety of countries in the Caribbean and, and Central America, uh, and as well as bringing children to Richmond that have uh, very complex problems. Um, they've had a presence in the Dominican Republic for almost 10 years, um, and so they turned to World Pediatric Project and informed us of, of the twins, and then they in turn uh, informed me. I'm the, one of the m main pediatric general and thoracic surgeons that cares for kids through World Pediatric Project. So we decided, as we have done with dozens and dozens of other children, to uh, really look at their chart, and, and um, we felt that we were capable to provide the, the care to, to separate them. And I know everyone's wondering, how are the twins doing now? They're doing well. Um, Really, the, they've about two weeks out from surgery, um, and uh, as you mentioned, it was a very long, complex operation, and we anticipated a, a fairly lengthy recovery period. Uh, but all organs are working well; they're on room air. Um, they've been their GI tracts are really um, working well. Uh, just last night, one was having some some concerns, uh, um, but but uh, with some medicines and so forth, she's going to be uh, just fine. But uh, they're getting their occupational and physical therapy, relearning how to walk. Um, so we really couldn't be happier with how they're doing. Now, I know you said in a recent article that only about a dozen of these uh, surgeries are performed worldwide each year. How come they're performed so infrequently? Well, it's, it's a rare problem. Um, <clears throat> really, uh, uh, estimates are about one in 100,000 live births. Uh, many of these have a number of other congenital anomalies or birth defects that, that really um, many don't, don't survive to become in childhood years. And, and uh, also, um, uh, because of the complexity of how they're conjoined, really aren't able to be separated. Uh, fortunately, these girls, while they had complex anatomy, we did feel as though they, they could be separated, and that was really what the mom and their family really wished for. That's great. The, um, I know uh, this story has picked up a lot of national media attention. Mm -hmm. um, my guess is that media training wasn't necessarily something you studied in med, med school. Um, I'm just wondering how mm -hmm. that's been going. Uh, that's correct. Um, yes. You know, it, it's a great story. We really um, were, uh, I think it's easy to, to talk about them. They're beautiful girls. And the organization, not only uh, all the organizations involved, World Pediatric Project, and of course, Children's Hospital Richmond at VCU, um, uh, the hospital, Hospitality House, all are great organizations that have been really providing fantastic care to a number of children, you know, over the last, my experience is seven and a half years since I've been back at VCU. And, and so it's, it's, it's easy to talk about them. Do you think this will pave the way for some more surgeries at VCU? Well, again, we already care for dozens and dozens of children every year, um, uh, many of which have a variety of complex problems. Uh, certainly, this is a unique um, uh, problem, uh, but maybe. You know, certainly, um, I think it certainly has raised awareness of what we uh, can offer at, at uh, the Children's Hospital, and we're happy to uh, certainly uh, look at, at more if they if they come along. Very good. Well, we've been speaking with Dr. David Lanning, Chief Surgeon at the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Lanning. Sure.